Hi guys, welcome back to another episode and I am Vatney. Ladies and gentlemen, her. Welcome back y'all. So just before we hop into this video, just a few things I wanted to say before we get into this video. We hit 3K on the channel here, the family. We are at 3,000 subscribers and steadily growing consistently. I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for continuing to support me, watch my videos, comment, like, share, whatever y'all do. I just appreciate it. And I hope you guys can really know how grateful and appreciative I am of each and every one of you guys. And I'm super excited to see where this channel is headed for the future, what's in store for me opportunity wise. I'm just super excited for the future. So I just wanted to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Secondly, happy Pride Month. You guys like my rainbow clips? I almost said barrettes, but these are not barrettes. These are definitely clips. But do you guys like my rainbow clips? Happy Pride Month to everyone that includes. I love you all. Everyone matters. Love wins. Love is love. Let's hop into this video. So this has been a topic that's been on my mind for a minute. Like I'm not even kidding, it's been a minute, a minute. When I say a minute, I say like a year, a year and a half, something like that, I don't know. But it's been a minute that this topic has been on my mind and you guys know that I've been trying to bring more videos with more topics that have been on my mind. This video, I really want to be like an open, like dialect conversation, so please do not hesitate to comment in the comments and like really have like an open discussion with me because I really am hoping that this video attracts why am I talking so much with my hands like gosh but I really am hoping that this video attracts like-minded people and people who have been going through the same thing sharing the similar feelings to me I don't know I just hope this video lands on whoever's page it needs to be is what I'm saying but let's hop right in Since you guys clicked on this video we are going to be talking about Christianity meets spirituality this has been something that's been super super important and like just prominent in my life because I was born and raised into Christianity specifically the religion Seventh Day Adventist. I'm not going to get too in depth on the religion of Seventh Day Adventist because that's a whole nother video within itself. I'm sure if you guys want me to I can make more in depth videos on that religion but I really just want to talk about the broad spectrum of it all Christianity in regards to spirituality so let's dig right in I took some notes too because you guys know that I suck at talking but that's okay because I took notes so I don't ramble so my upbringing like I said I was born and raised into a Christian household um I think that's all I'm gonna say for now because like I said <laughs> I could literally make a whole nother video on that but I don't want this video to be long I will say I do not regret being brought up into a Christian household at all so I don't really have any ill feelings about it at all I think more so being in my 25 years of age that I am I more so am looking to find my own answers and find my own truth in the truth that's been the truth that's been presented to me and I said truth and air quotes because I've realized what you see and what your brain like correlates that to be is not the same thing that someone else like we could be looking at the same picture and see something totally different life is all about perspective and if you don't have the same perspective to perceive what the same thing that I'm looking at then like you know we're not like-minded and that's okay like everyone has like different perspectives like that's okay it's okay to have different perspectives but that's why I'm saying there is really no solid truth in this life like there is no solid thing that says yes this is it this is how it needs to be like everyone's perspective is all different so like what you could see as good is something I could see is like yeah kind of good but not that best what you could see at best I could see is just good you know what I'm saying like what I see is bad behavior you could see is like someone like they had to do that I don't know there's just like so many great areas is what I'm saying in my 25 years of age I have come to the point of just questioning a lot of the stuff that I have been brought up on and have been taught and I don't think that's a bad thing like I remember learning about the enlightenment era in school and I used to be like so like so just like wow like that's cool I used to think it was cool I mean it's cool to question stuff I think it's okay to question stuff too because if you don't question stuff you don't get to a point of understanding because you can't understand something unless you've dug deep inside yourself to understand even the aspects of it you may not even understand that was a mouthful and I hope you guys are following but 
yeah that's that's how I've kind of gotten into this point where I'm at also the fact that I have been introduced and just I've been more educated on more of the spiritual practices more of the spiritual aspect of life in general and I'm not even going to lie I'm not even going to lie it low-key makes more sense than Christianity does to me and that's just my truth that's just how I'm feeling disclaimer let me make this disclaimer and I should have made it a little earlier if you are close to me and you're my family member or even my parents whoever if you have like a biblical tie to me please take this video with a grain of salt and don't take it and just run with it like I'm not saying that I don't believe in God because I 105% still believe in God still believe in the second coming of christ i believe in heaven and hell like i still believe in all of that there's just some aspects that i think this just i just i consider myself a spiritual person now like i i also consider myself a christian but i don't consider myself a religious person i consider myself a spiritual person is what i'm saying so yeah in this journey that i'm in right now i'm really just in trying to understand my feelings for Christianity and spirituality and trying to find the common ground within myself. Like, I know there's going to be some people out here that say, you can't practice Christianity and spirituality at the same time. I think you can. I think I can have the best of both worlds when it comes to practicing spirituality and practicing Christianity. For my own personal beliefs, I think they do overflow and run into each other. I think it's a stream meeting a river, you know, like one flows into the other, the other one flows from the next, like it's, it's intertwined and it's connected is what I'm saying. And so the point where I'm at in my life, I'm just trying to find the connections within myself between, you know, my religious background and my spiritual background and the spiritual, you know, practices that are becoming of me because I've, you know, like I said, I've been brought up on the religious part of life, but I've never really been exposed to like the spirituality part of life either. And that's something that's new to me. And I do like attest that to a lot of my friends and a lot of the people that I follow. And I think honestly, the, a lot of people that I just simply attract to me, like a lot of the people that I don't even like go seeking for a lot of the people that just so happen to show up into my life are very like-minded of me and that's something that I could not ignore. My friends back home in Ohio, if you are watching this, please know that you guys have helped shape and continue to help shape the person that I'm becoming. My cousin Taylor, I hope she actually watches to this point because you have been such a huge like inspiration and just a huge part of the person I'm becoming and being. Like I am just so grateful for your perspective on life and who you like y'all she's like she's like into all the like horoscopes the crystals the you know spiritual healing meditation the yoga all of that stuff and i really do appreciate that perspective that she has introduced into my life because i really do believe it is so important to take from everything in life you don't want to just be so like straight you know see so straightforward that you can't see the other stuff that's happening in life i just listened to this really really good podcast that was actually talking a little bit about this and not being so conformed to just one practice in life whatever practice it is whether it be like your routine a spiritual practice a religious practice like literally whatever practice it is the way you eat the way you sleep whatever like literally whatever you do it's okay to take a little bit of everything and make that you like it's okay and I really and that's where I'm at like just taking a little bit of everything and making it into my truth and making it into something that is fulfilling for me and that makes sense for me and I do realize that a lot of stuff in life well not maybe even a lot of stuff but some stuff in life is simply not going to make sense to me and I'm simply not going to be able to understand it because of the brain that I have like not even like saying I'm stupid or anything just the capacity that our brain like we don't use all of our brain what is it we use like 25 or 25 percent or less of our brain like there's 75 percent of my brain that I'm not using and I think that's for a good reason because I, I just think the humans that we are we wouldn't be able to possibly function healthily and it would just be come to our destruction is what I'm saying like using as much of our brain as we like uh, just using more of our brain that we already do I just think it would lead to the destruction of humans but what I'm saying is there's just some stuff in life I'm not going to be able to understand because you know science only goes so far 
to be able to you know, explain something and then comes your own beliefs where whether it be spirituality religion whatever you believe like science can only explain life so far and so yeah that's just the point i'm at is just trying to find my own understanding it's okay to question things I, I it's okay to question things if you know me like if you know me know me especially the people that i've dated like i always try to tell people this like i'm gonna ask a question one thing about me i'm gonna ask you a question and i'm gonna continue to ask questions and even after that question i may even ask another question and then another question and then another question it's just the way i am like i need to have a solid understanding of whatever's going on even if it's just something so simple i need a solid understanding so i can know what's up and that's just that's just who i am i've always been someone who's questioning something so that's why i think like i like science and math the most anyways that's not what this video is about but one thing i've been questioning that's really been like getting to me and i know it may seem like that's like not such a serious question i should be questioning a lot of other stuff but the simple fact that jesus was jewish jesus was jewish so why is christianity looked at as like the the chosen religion when jesus was jewish can someone explain to me like i'm really genuinely asking like is there any type of explanation for this and some people can maybe say oh it's it's a new day like the jewish then was like a different jewish than jewish this day and forgive me i don't really even know much about the jewish religion but i'm really genuinely asking if jesus was jewish why is jewish like not the like looked at like as the like the right religion like i don't know if you guys get what i'm saying that's just something i've been questioning like if jesus was jewish why why is Christianity a thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hope this makes sense. I hope someone's making sense of what I'm saying. But another thing I've also been questioning, and let me just say, TikTok, I love TikTok, but TikTok has also got me questioning a lot of stuff in my life, like a lot of stuff in my life. I saw this TikTok that was talking about slavery and Christianity. First of all, let's talk about how Christianity was like the white man's religion before slavery was introduced you know into well before like slavery was a thing here in america like christianity was the white man's religion if slavery was not a thing and black people were not taken from africa the christianity that black people the african i don't like saying african americans but that black people who are from and originate from america if we were not taken from africa we would not know the christianity that we know today that like baffles me and honestly that's something that has newly and freshly been like blowing my mind like and i know you can back it up with everything happens for a reason like everything does happen for a reason but i just can't get over that hump like if slavery did not happen i would not be the christian that i am today like i don't know i don't know and let me say i don't know if i said this in this video because i this is my second time trying to record this i still do believe in god I believe in heaven and hell. I 105% believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I believe in the second coming of Christ. So let me just say that. It's not that I'm questioning if God is real. I'm just more so trying to understand, like I said, my own beliefs and not be so fast to, uh, you know, believe what people tell me. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, there are a lot of things that I agree with Christianity. There's also a lot of things that I do not agree with Christianity in the religion. And there's also some things I agree with spirituality and some spiritual practices like meditation. But there's also some things I do not necessarily agree or maybe just understand as far as some spiritual practice. Like, for example, meditation. I think it's okay to meditate. As a Christian, I think it's okay to meditate. I think it's okay to take some time apart from the uh the world around you and just be and focus on your breath and focus on whatever your intentions are however i think where you take your energy like where your source of energy comes from is very important when it comes to finding the common ground between christianity and spirituality for me and and i i come i came to this common like thought like oh wait hold up i am taking god out of this equation like i started getting into like spiritual practice and spirituality stuff like that and i realized you know i was questioning like i don't think anything's wrong with crystals and stuff i 100 percent believes in energy of crystals i believe in energy of the food you eat i believe in energy whatever energy it is i 100 believe in when it comes to like crystals and stuff i really think it comes 
for me, this is just for me, it boils down to where my the source of energy is coming from. No, I do not believe that a simple mineral or rock has energy in it. I think the energy has to be coming from something to be put into that rock or mineral, if that makes sense. For me, I don't necessarily do crystals and stuff like that, and it's because I haven't put myself in a place to fully understand it and just even educate myself on it and so that's why I do not practice crystals and stuff like that but as far as meditation I like meditating I like doing yoga I don't do it often I should definitely do it more I do yoga more than I do meditation but I think meditating is okay and that's just in my own belief but like I said I think it just boils down to where you think your source of energy is coming from for me my source of energy is coming from God so when I'm sitting there meditating and trying to you know um what is the word when I'm sitting there meditating trying to manifest the life that I want and trying to be intentional about my actions and just being intentional about my thoughts and stuff I think it boils down to where am I trying to take that from like I just try what I'm saying is everything even in my spiritual practices I try to turn everything back to God that's just me that's just how I am that's just it's just something I uh, uh, but yeah, I hope this video is making sense. I think I'm doing pretty well with trying to find a common ground between the two. I think putting myself out there and opening the door for other conversations to be had with other people and bringing, you know, just opening the door for other perspectives and other thoughts and fresh ideas to be brought to the table on this topic has really helped me too because I definitely made a TikTok on this the other day and a lot of people, you know, were talking about how they were kind of struggling with the same thing and trying to understand too. So I'm glad that I made this video and opening the door for a conversation and just another perspective that, you know, someone who may have been dealing with this like a couple years ago can offer to me or just, you know, direction. And of course, you know, praying about it and just asking God to continue to direct me and guide me and just bring the people in my life that needs to be in my life and just being real intentional with the things that I come, you know, I cross paths with. So yeah, I'm definitely going to make more videos on this because this is something that, like I said, is very like important in my life. Like God is a very important thing in my life. And also, you know, the spiritual aspect of life and just the spiritual, my spirituality is very important to me also. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you, someone is able to take something from this video, whether you just start, you know, questioning things yourself or, you know, I just got the gears turning in your mind. I just hope Hope that this video is able to resonate well with whoever is watching it so if you guys like this video and you want more videos like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see when I post more videos like this don't forget to hit that thumbs up so I can see and YouTube can see that you guys like this video and that y'all rocking with me and I will see you guys next time peace and love always be safe bye